eternal God, we bring to you our thanks. We offer to you our praise for the demonstration of your eternal love made to the world in the life and death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Almighty and merciful Father, who shows your love to all through your creation, we pray for our world. We pray for the leaders of all nations who carry a heavy burden of responsibility and for all who offer their services in the leadership of the affairs of the world, that they may have the wisdom and courage to uphold what is right for peace and for the survival of mankind. We pray particularly at this time for all countries of the world where violence, war and terrorism are taking place, remembering our brothers and sisters in Sudan. And we pray especially for those who seek to make peace in this divided world. We come before you asking for your intervention on the coronavirus currently ravaging our world. Hear the prayers we make for those affected by the virus. Grant healing to the sick and consolation to bereaved families. We pray that an effective medicine to combat the sickness be speedily found and for the relevant governments and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. Today we thank you for the service that Lewis has given to your church in different ways and in different places. And we pray that his sense of calling may be renewed as he comes to this work in the Winterbourne Valley in Milton Abbas Benefice. We thank you for the talents and skills he has exercised and which he now brings to this charge, for his integrity and faith for all that he has learned in ministry, all that he has given, and all that he has shared in. We thank you for Lewis's family and pray for Joe, Matthew and Emma, that in their own right, they may know that they are welcomed by a community, embraced by a fellowship and loved for themselves. Lewis, give and be given to, hear and be heard, love and be loved, support and be supported. Grant your grace to both minister and congregation to forge together a partnership of trust and respect. May we proclaim the good news of the kingdom through our life and worship together. May we teach, baptise and nurture new believers through our faith and fellowship. May we respond to human need by loving service through the stewarding of energies, funds and resources. And may we seek to transform unjust structures of society through our compassion and courage. We pray for your presence in the dreams we dare to dream, in the hopes they begin to build and the future they begin to plan. God, who transformed the cross into a victory and built your church on the weak and the powerless, keep us faithful to our calling. Equip us for your service. Guide us on your pilgrimage and help us into your future. Amen. Amen.